So this next tip, did you know that Outlook can ensure you never miss anyone's birthday ever again? Let's have a look at this. So I'm just going to bring up a contact. I'm going to go to F11 if you remember that instantly activates the find contact in the top right here. And I'm going to come to our old friend Paul Aachen. Here we go. This contact's now come up and we recognize all of this from some of the earlier videos. But did you know that we've also got a details tab here? And in the details tab, it allows me to put in his birthday. I might not particularly know what year he was born, but I do know that his birthday was the 11th of March. And I'm just going to put 1900. It makes him very old, but that's OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find that in the calendar. So I'm going to come to calendar. I'm in the month view of January. Remember, I can do control G that takes me to any particular date. So perhaps I can go specifically to the 11th of March. And there we go. You can see Paul Atkins birthday is in there. I want to actually do something a little bit more to that. I want to make sure I don't forget to send him a card. A card normally takes a few days to get there. So five days notice would be good enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to open either the series or this occurrence. I'm going to open the series. So every year I'm going to get the same reminder. And now you can see in the reminders up here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to have four days reminder. There we go. Perfect. Save and close. Now, four days prior to his birthday, I'm going to get a reminder and it's going to ensure that I get him a card and send it on time. There we go. So quite a few quick tips in there. We set a birthday, but also we refreshed ourselves of using F11 to get the quick search for the contact. And then we also used Control G to go to a particular date. Great quick tip.